So that's all from the Seven News team. We'll take you to Melbourne now and Monica Koss. Thanks, Sue and Rick. Hello and welcome to this special edition of the program as we count down to the biggest Powerball draw in history. Now, officially, it's an $80 million draw, but it may be a little bit more than that as Lotto Fever sweeps Australia for the second time in a month. Later in the program, a psychotherapist tells us how to cope with that sort of money, that's if you win, including how to say no to all those people who want your cash. But right now, we're joined by Bill Thorburn, the Chief Executive of Tats Lotteries. Bill, thank you very much for joining us Hello, this Monica. evening. Hello, there. The first question, exactly how much is in the pool? Well, it looks like it's rounded out at the even $80 million. Still a very large amount for anyone to win. Bill, we'll ask you to stay with us now as we'll go live to Mark Gibson at Lottery West in Osborne Park. Mark? Good evening, Monica. There's a sense of deja vu here at Lottery West because it was the 30th of June when we tried to give away $100 million. Now it's the 30th of July and we're hoping to give away $80 million in tonight's record Powerball draw. Now, of course, it's too late to buy a ticket from one of these machines. The draw has closed and, uh, as you can see, the countdown is getting closer. It's on the top left of your screen, so have a look at that. There is not long to go now until that $80 million Powerball draw. Now, I'm down here at Lottery West because the operations centre is just over to my right and we're hoping to find out with all the boffins back there crunching the numbers by the end of the show whether or not a West Australian has won or shared in that 80 million dollars so stay with us we'll cross back here soon Monica back to you thanks Mark now tonight's jackpot is huge and it seems they're getting bigger and bigger but will we ever see jackpots like some in the United States two and three hundred million dollars Andrea Burns explores those issues as we count down to tonight's big draw Natalie Bongiolo there. If you are lucky enough to win that money, later on a lawyer will tell us how to protect it. And a psychotherapist will tell us how to handle the emotional ups and downs, including how to say no and how to keep your family on an even keel. Right now it's time to fasten your seatbelts and hope for that one Powerball. Your tickets ready. It's time for Powerball. Imagine the possibilities. One Powerball. Good evening, Troy Ellis here, and welcome to another astronomical jackpot event. But this time, it's for Powerball. Draw number 689. Well, if you have been dreaming all week about how you would spend your winnings, these dreams may soon become a reality. As there have been no Division 1 winners over the last seven weeks, the total Division 1 prize pool, if won tonight, is a record $80 million. And right now it is time to find out whether you're our next big Powerball winner. Welcome back to our Melbourne studios here at the Docklands. Before we leave you tonight, let's just do a quick recap of those winning numbers. And they are 13, 17, 15, 21, 45, and the Powerball is 37. And there'll be more uh, details throughout the evening. And we'll soon find out if we're back here next week. That is if the Powerball jackpots again. And thank you for your company this evening. We'll leave you tonight with a replay of No We Won't from Melbourne. That's it from us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Good night. <laughs>